a, a, a musical relationship slash friendship was born. Even with playing music on stage with other musicians, there has to be chemistry there, you know. Um, and at the same time, it's like you want to be able to have chemistry away from the stage as well. Because if you have chemistry away from the stage, your show and your stage presence and everything like that, yeah. it's gonna be people pick great. up on it. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another installment of your hottest internet sensation right here on Facebook and YouTube of the No Shortcut Show. Today is Tuesday, July 11th. And we're so humble, so grateful. Yeah. So, so, what, overjoyed to have you guys join us live. First things first. <laughs> yeah. What a, what a segue, right? <laughs> Might so as well. Ladies and gentlemen, drop us a comment. If you're watching right now live with us on Facebook, please drop us a comment. Say hello. Let us know where you're, where you're tapping in from, where yeah. your city and state may be. Also, while you're watching, feel free to hit that share button mm -hmm. and share this live feed to your own news feed as we're broadcasting. We yeah. want to welcome, welcome you guys. Hope everybody's safe, keeping cool and healthy. You know what I'm saying? And we got a great guest. Uh, we're excited. We got a great yeah. guest on tonight's edition. Uh, I think Famous was telling me before we went live, we're on like episode 21 or 22. 22, I think. 22. Yeah. I lost track since we uh, we, we uh, took a vacation day last week. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now I'm off track. I got to tell them why we took a vacation real quick. Yeah. Folks, I had I did, I did three shows last, uh, the weekend of the fourth uh, of the holiday. And after the second show, I had no voice. You mm. know, so we had shows Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I, as I was coming home Monday, I had to go ahead and hit famous and like, yeah. I had to say, hey, bro, we're not going to be able to. We're yeah. not gonna be able to uh, with my man. I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> not gonna be, oh, I'm not I'm gonna be able to stuff. do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I digress. But yeah. so we took we took uh, in honor of the holiday, and me and I had uh, my boys. We just went ahead and took a break last week, but yeah. we bike. That's good. Bike. That's yeah, good. Yeah. So, so glad ladies, you got just, your voice. Oh, I appreciate it, man. It's it's nothing. You know, we take that for granted sometimes. As, as uh, often, many things until we until we don't have it so i'm mm -hmm. I'm glad to be back and and full strength and able to do my job yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but ladies and gentlemen if this is your first time joining us let me introduce to you this gentleman to the left hand side oh. of your screen he does many things as you can see uh by the titles there but first and foremost he is a podcast host he's mm -hmm. also a uh, a digital media strategist he's also an event coordinator and as you can continue to read, he produces this show as well. <laughs> <laughs> we educate and celebrate. Yeah. And I always say he's your favorite DJ's favorite DJ. Yes, Ladies sir. and gentlemen, make some noise at home while we make some noise right here on the screen for Mr. Travis Pizel, a.k.a. DJ Fable. Man, you're One too kind. You're too kind. You're too kind, hey, man. man. All these nice words, all these different hats that I wear now. I appreciate yeah, we it. Gotta, we got to give flowers. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Give flowers. I appreciate that. Absolutely. And as usual, my man, my co-host, yeah, yeah. he's an MC. Uh -huh. He's a music director. Mm -hmm. He's a microphone doctor. MC? Musician. MD? MC and MD <laughs> with a chair, the legendary chairman of the board. He's yeah. also an accomplished producer, host, rapper. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. all these things, man. Yeah. Give it up to Jerry Midas Hardison, my homie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was hey, one man. The check is in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> the check is in the mail, <laughs> man. Time. How, you, how you feeling today? I've been doing well, man. 
Yeah, it's been a um, it's been a, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. You know, we've been busy. I hadn't been quite as busy. I didn't have yeah, the three the three in the week like you did. But yeah, uh, I got you know, know this week, yeah. it's still uh, <laughs> it's still a little bit of wedding season down here. I have um, I have I got a couple of weeks off now, but I have one more in okay. July. Um, this is a bad time to get married in South Carolina, man. It was hot. Yeah, <laughs> it was hot. hot these I last tell you couple one thing. I had an opportunity to be in uh, in the mountains on Sunday in Hendersonville. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. had a winery, and, okay. and the weather was great, despite yeah. the little drizzles and everything. I think it was like 65, 65 degrees, and we yeah. we had the opportunity to play indoors, and they had nice. the walls that lift up, so we got the mm-hmm. nice breeze from the outside. Even That's my we old stomping there. grounds. I used to live out there in Hendersonville for a minute. Uh, okay, that's right. So when you out near Asheville or whatever, mm-hmm. yeah, I live. I actually lived in Henderson though. Yeah. Okay, to be more specific, that's yeah. what's up, man. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's definitely what's, what's up. up. Yeah, yeah, and and you wanna you wanna give the folks at home a, a quick overview of what I or what our platform is about. Listen, before. this is the uh, no shortcut show, man. We just started this show because we had so many um, ideas, so many nuggets of knowledge we wanted to share with people. Yeah. Just you know, we're both on different on different sides of like the music business but it's not even just music specific we just know so many people that are entrepreneurs starting their own businesses yeah or they even have a full-time job and they have a side hustle or they're trying mm-hmm. to start an etsy store you know whatever it is you're trying to yeah, do we just want to uh, give folks an opportunity to come on here once a week we'll talk about different things related to just how to get yourself maintained, how to juggle home life and yeah. work life, how to get your business up and running. And then we'll bring on special guests that also have knowledge about how to do these things and share their stories and what they did or what they wish they would have done differently. Or, you know, what right. what do you know now that you wish you knew when you first started your hustle, you know, things like yeah, that. Absolutely. So we just want to share, we want to share our knowledge and share the knowledge of our friends and extended family and give yeah. everybody a platform to come on here and, and, and promote what they do. Yeah, yeah. So Hove did that. So hopefully you ain't got to go through that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's changing well, life for everything, ain't it? <laughs> there is, man. There is. He's in the, he's in the what, Songwriters Hall of Fame? Absolutely. Hall of Fame. So, Absolutely. yeah, that means he's got many meaningful lyrics. You know, yeah. I mean, some of us grew up, not per se grew up, but we can take those lyrics and uh, apply them off for sure. Time. For sure. Oh, absolutely. All right. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and proceed. Hey, man, let's proceed. You were talking about your voice and you lost your voice. You got your voice yeah. back. So I figured that was a good segue. Yeah, that's an excellent segue. Excellent and speaking segue. of having our voice back, yes, ladies sir. and gentlemen, allow me to bring to our, our platform here. This gentleman wears many hats mm-hmm. you know, over, the, over the course of years. The years he's been a recording artist. He's uh, part of the uh, South Carolina Coalition of DJs. He has his own platform, uh, social media platform, where he interviews artists by the name of Grind and Shine. Uh, and he currently he's involved in doing some real estate, and he can also get you a life insurance plan, mm-hmm. and get you the land and the plan. Get Without that. any further ado, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen at home, make some noise while we make some noise on yeah. the screen for Mr. Brandon McCleave, a.k.a. Voice B. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? What's up, with what's, it, up? Man? what's up, what's up, family? What's up? The voice. Man, the <laughs> voice. Voice B. Is voice B B heard? I like the way you keep the B consistent with, mm-hmm. with the things that you that you involved in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, because my yeah, name's Brandon. Yeah. You know what I'm Brandon. saying? So I, yeah. I always keep the keep the B try to keep the yeah. B involved, you know. Yeah, 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 for sure. So and usually when your name is Brandon, people are gonna call you B. For sure. I know several yeah. brands and they A O B A B. You know, and then we wanna uh just digress for a moment to the uh what's the what's the film uh where camera is the A A B where yeah. it comes from. <laughs> Eat some soup. <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Yeah, so, so give us a little bit of your background, bro, before we before we get into like uh the different industries that you're involved in. But Tell us a little bit about where you were born and raised and a little bit about your, your family life and upbringing. All right, so uh, I'm from a small town called McConnell, South Carolina. Mm. Uh-huh. It's like more trees than people. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, I mean, like, it's just, just a, lot of, a lot of good people, man. You know, like, mm-hmm. that's a community that's like, it takes 
a try to raise a yep. child. Yeah. And like that's that's the town that I came from. Like that's how I grew up. Like you know what awesome. I mean? Like it was people that I didn't even know knew my daddy and my mama. And they'd yeah. be like, Brandon, you better start acting up. I'm gonna tell your daddy. <laughs> yeah. You know Hey, how you know my daddy? Yeah, yeah. they all know. Like, it was, it was <laughs> like, yeah, like a, a, a close knit community, man. Like real tight community or whatnot. You know, uh-huh. we got a uh, we got a couple uh, a couple little celebrities come up out of McConnell's. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Speaking of who, who's from McConnell's, can, can you name drop? Yeah, like uh, Ivory Ladder. Remember? Ivory Ladder, shout out to her. Yeah, yeah. You're doing yeah, a big she came up from McConnell's doing big things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this guy named Voice B. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. You know what I mean? Came up on Adam McConnell's. So, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you know, they we we produce, man, some great people. Mm-hmm. You know, we got talent down there. You For know sure. what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. And speaking of McConnell's, the, uh, the church Mount Dewell that I played music at for the last 15 or so years is how we uh, uh, initially met. Mm-hmm. In, anyway, yep. the McConnell's at the church. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So that's yep. that's a cool little story. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your parents and your, and your siblings. Then we're going to get into the thick of it all. Yeah, man. So I, I grew up with, with both my parents, my mom and daddy. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, I give them a lot of clout, you know, like shout mm-hmm. out for making me the person that I am today. Because, right. you know, they are the main reason, you know, why I've done the things that I've done mm-hmm. today yeah. Yeah, all yeah. my life. They've always told me, Brandon, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. you know, and that's something that I've always taken with me when I went anywhere or yeah. or did anything, you know, mm-hmm. got over any type of obstacle, you know, yeah. got through the thicket, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, with just those words reverberating through my mind, like, Brandon, like, you can do anything you put your mind to do, mm-hmm. you Absolutely. know, and that's, that's the foundation you know what I mean? Like, that all of this is set up on. You yeah. Because, you know, people tell you every day, oh, that's impossible. Oh, you can't do that. Who you know that done, done that? Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. my mom and daddy said, yeah, I could do anything. I put my mind to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I don't yeah. care what you say. I can't that's base right. what I'm going to be off of what everybody is. not You know right. what I mean? Exactly. So it's just, it's just like, that, that's that foundation, man. Yeah, so, you know, my parents, you know, they were really mm-hmm. into the winter in my life and, you know, and where I am today. And, they, and they still are, man. Like, I got the best parents in the world. You yeah. know, I'm the luckiest person on the earth, man. Yeah, you know, man. with the parents that I have, like, yeah, you know, it's amazing. Sure. Thank God for them every day. Yeah, and your parents are spiritual as well. That You know, it's, it's, it's funny because, you, you know, the, the idea or the, the message of uh, being spiritual or having faith comes up a lot on our platform Mm -hmm. you know uh just how we try to conduct ourselves as men and we always find that it leads back to to our our own upbringing so i know you know your your parents Mm -hmm. were uh, are not were they are very uh Mm -hmm. faith-based and very spiritual and they you know and 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 there's nothing like that source of strength that that gives you and it's and and it's nothing like your parents pouring confidence into you i think that's everything You know. Yep. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So. So early on, you know, on, on along your journey, how did you got you got into singing? How did how did you get into to your singing and your love for uh for writing and re- and recording and just want to be be an artist? What who were some influences in that area? Man, just there's a lot of there's a lot of different artists. You know, like mm-hmm. coming up, you know, as I was young and like just listening to music and you know what I'm saying my like my daddy's a singer mm-hmm. and hearing my daddy sing in church and you know hit hitting them old hymns and stomping you, them, up. Like, <laughs> hands, yeah. you know what I mean like and then just me discovering like you know like, I got a voice too yeah, you know what yeah. I mean like I like my daddy gave me that voice too yeah you yeah. know and it's just like man like I want to I want to do something with it like I just I just love the music like I'm just I just always been around you know, music, and, yeah. you know, even, like, back to my granddad, like, my granddad, he had a band, and they okay. traveled up and down the East Coast, you know, <laughs> like, they had got so big, like, they was on radio, and this was back in the, in the 50s, you okay. know, and they had made it to, to radio, you know, wow. back then, like, 
Yeah. You know, he had his own little quartet band, and, you know, he was singing and doing his thing. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, so it's like, you know, it's it's deep-rooted. Like, this music thing is right. deep-rooted in the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's deep-rooted, man. You know, and mm-hmm. I'm just carrying the torch, you know? Mm-hmm. So can you remember the first time you um you performed or the first time someone like outside of your house heard you sing? Yeah. What was that like? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it was it was crazy cuz like I didn't know that I could really sing. Mm-hmm. And you know, yeah, I'm just playing around, you know, like talking on the phone to girls and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? And like, and like I'm just I like singing their favorite songs and like mm-hmm. they're like oh you sound so good and like oh you should do this you should do that and i'm like oh, hmm. yeah okay you know yeah yeah, yeah. And, and believe it or not the, the female feedback has a lot to do with uh you know even talking with brandon and uh stevens mr b and uh we have v keys on 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 mm-hmm. previous episode the feed the feedback from females is a lot of uh, a lot of times uh, <laughs> Percentage of the pie yeah. as the motivation, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a huge, it's, it's a huge. It's a huge. We're gonna give them, we're gonna give them the lot, the big piece of chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's all right. Yeah. I try to give them a little wing. You want to yeah. give them the pie? Okay, okay. That's all good. But yeah, yeah. And I had an opportunity to um collaborate with you you know on a few few ideas you had uh whether it was me making making some music or uh doing a doing mm-hmm. a first here and there so we always had a ball creating i remember you would come over we sit try to yeah. cook something up or you like i got yeah i got these lyrics this melody i need something to go along with it and i remember going with you to uh to showcases and then you would i think you hopped on the showcases we we would mm-hmm. us and I yep. would do so yeah so we were part of that journey man as far as you know, you being an artist and everything. And it takes a lot of guts to, you know, to, to I guess, what, put yourself on display to bear your soul writing lyrics and to mm-hmm. get up there and perform. It's not very, it's not easy. People people sometimes think it's easy. It's not easy. So, yeah. you know, I, I salute you. <laughs> I salute you for having the courage to even, to even follow that, to follow Absolutely. that in. But that goes back to the confidence that your parents instilled into you. Yeah. 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 Now you, I'm sorry. No, I'm just agreeing with you. Okay, okay, bet. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, man. So, so, and also, uh, famous. Did you have something you wanted no, to tell? Go ahead. No, oh, okay. So, all right. So, recording artists, you mm-hmm. know, and you did some singing and you did some rapping. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Whatever. I'm wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, are you still are you still currently recording music? No, I'm not recording music anymore. Okay, know? okay, got you. But I'm sure you still have have the stuff that you did, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and that's part, part of the definitely. journey, part of the journey. Cause yeah, most it's, definitely. It's, it's always yeah. something you know that's up in the air. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know? can always especially revisit. like as I as I'm doing things like right now, you know, I'm getting more involved in in the music industry and and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's like man. Yeah. Maybe I should put a put another record out. You know, mm-hmm. man, I can put a record out for real, like with all of the knowledge yeah. that all I gained and all the years, of the know how right. and the connects I have mm-hmm. now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like you know, maybe I would, and I can be like my boy. You know what I'm saying? And drop a million records, like hey, yeah, yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. So, so then after. Hey, After the recording, <laughs> hey, we, hey, we at home, baby. We yeah. we, we we fathers. That's exactly. what that's what goes Mine on. Mine was just asking me for a trash bag just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we fathers. That's what, that's what happens. We at home, you know. Mm-hmm. We keeping it safe because we understand that COVID is still out there, and and we still in a pandemic. So we choose to do this under safe circumstances. So, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to our home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But, but so. <laughs> So after you did, after you, you know, did the uh, recording artist thing for a little while, then you, you pivoted into actually hosting your own platform by the name of Grind and Shine. See, is it Grind and Shine yeah. TV? Yeah, yeah. Grind and Shine now, TV. Yeah, now tell the folks at home what Grind and Shine TV consists of and, and give, us, give us a quick rundown of some of the artists that you had a, a privilege to, uh, to, to have conversation with. Right, Grunderson TV is my own 
social media platform. I started it back in 2012. Mm. And uh, like back then, like I just, I just had a dollar and a dream, you mm. know? And once again, I took what my parents told me that I can do anything I set my mind to. For sure. And I used that and mm. I went and I started Grind and Shine TV. You know, okay. people act like, oh, how you gonna do this? How you gonna travel? How you gonna get these artists in? Da, 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 you know, but I didn't care about none of it. You know, all I knew was that I was gonna do it and I had to start somewhere. Right. And that's what I did. So back in 2012, you know, I got out there. I just started doing it, you know, yeah, by myself. Yeah. And you started you know, on your laptop, right? I think I remember you were showing me some footage. We was in, the, we was uh, working on some music at one point. I think you showed me where you you started out using your laptop and you were just going around and, and, and kind of mm -hmm. talking to people. What did you went, you went out to L.A. or somewhere? Uh, it's coming back. Yeah, through. so like, like that was like my first little my first little taste of it. Like I had went to uh, I had went out to Hollywood because I went to um, a music school out there. That's right. And, that's uh, right. So I was out there. I took my little laptop out here. And I was yeah. doing interviews and stuff, and I was like, "Yo, like I can really, yeah. I can really do this." Like, you know what I mean? Like, this was this was really cool. You know, this is really mm -hmm. into. And so, like, that was like, you know, one of the bases of starting. And mm -hmm. then uh, my partner, uh, Al Bradley, mm -hmm. uh, me and him, you know, we we got together. We used to work together back in the day, and uh, we just started talking about it. And I was like, "Yo, like I'm gonna start doing these interviews." Yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, like I'm well, let's do it." You know what I'm saying? And he was like, That's it. he was like, don't tell me you're going to do something mm -hmm. and don't, don't do it. it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, bro, I was like, I'm going to outwork you, dog. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and he kind of laughed, but I was dead serious. Like, I was yeah. dead ass. Like, I'm, bro, I'm going to outwork you with this one, bro. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? But, you know, we started it together and, uh, you know, some things happened on his end. You know, he had to, you know, just life stuff, sure. you know, oh. happening. Yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I carry I carry the torch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I continue to go with it and, and grow it into what it is today. Yeah. Awesome. Now, let me ask you this. How did, what was your, your plan of attack or, or your approach for starting your own platform and getting mm -hmm. getting interviews with these? And we're still going to let you run down some of the artists. We ain't forgot about that. Mm -hmm. But what was your approach is like getting your foot in the door or backstage and catching these interviews with, with the artists? I know you had to have, have a look coming up to see I didn't have I didn't have no approach. Like I didn't, okay. it, wasn't no, it wasn't no plan. It was just I'm going to do it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like that's what I did. I yeah. mean, like honestly, there's a guy named Forty Eight Roy that okay. really, really helped me get started. Like, you know, when I said I was going to do it, I found a I seen a flyer at a gas station of uh, OJ the Juice Man was coming mm -hmm. to perform in Columbia. Okay, and so I was like. I was like, okay. I was like, yo, I'm going there. You know, I'm going to go interview Juice Man. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I called a number on the flyer, and the guy picked up. He's yeah. like, yeah, what's up? Like, what you, you looking to buy a table or something? Like, what you doing? I'm like, nah, like, I got a camera. Like, I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get some interviews with OJ yeah. Juice Man. And he was like, uh, well, you can come in video, but uh, you can't get an interview with Juice Man. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, bit. And in my mind, I was like, I'm still going to get it. Get that <laughs> with Juice Man. I'm yeah. going to get, yeah. yeah. get an interview with Juice Man. Right. You know? And so, uh, man, I went there, man, you know, and, and the rest was history. Like, I pulled out the interview with Juice, mm -hmm. and I was like, I did it. Like, we, yeah, that's awesome, man. We did it. We did it. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, I would say the, uh, the, the 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 uh, the answer is just don't be scared. Just do it. Just yeah, pick up the yeah. phone. Just make that phone call. Just go to that show. Just whatever it is that you're uh, that you're trying to accomplish, yeah. you ain't gonna accomplish by sitting around thinking about it. Once you uh, got that right. idea, you have to do it. Go get it. Yeah, go yeah. get it. Exactly. Awesome. Got, got to be on the scene. Nothing. Nothing's going on at the crib. You got to be. Yeah. You got to be on the scene. Now you got to name know? drop a little bit for us. So, oh, after, yeah, yeah. so aside from OJ the Juice Man, who else? Who else can you tell us about? Just drop some names on us. Just make us feel bad. Go ahead. I just seen two of myself. <laughs> you know. Uh, my most one of my most pride interviews. You know, was Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. Um, Ti. Mm -hmm. Uh. I work with the baby, 
Mm -hmm. On his come up, Megan wow. the Stallion. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's so many. I it's know so it. <laughs> That's why I said That's this. That's awesome, man. You know, like, like Young Dolph. Mm -hmm. You know, like, yeah, we rest did in peace project there. together one time. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, like, it's just, it's so many artists, man, like, that I done got over the years. Yeah. It's like, sometimes it's crazy, because I'll just be going through footage, and I'll be like, damn, I did an interview with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now, these well, are still, these, these are still reviewable on, on YouTube or on Facebook, if, if anybody wanted to go check out some of the artists that you've interviewed. Yeah, like, so they, um, they on my Instagram. Okay, and, and you can drop that. On, they're on YouTube, like. A lot of my early stuff is on YouTube. A lot of my most recent stuff is on like Instagram, and then okay. I put I put you know things on YouTube here and there. I got to get back into the YouTube game because yeah. that's really, what's your, really what's what you what's what's the channel. YouTube. Uh, be heard, grind and shine TV. All right, I'm gonna type that in right now. Okay. Just be be dot heard or just be heard. Yeah, just be heard. The letter B and okay. heard. Okay. Uh, all, all one word. Yep. And then and space grind and shine TV. Yep. Okay. And my phone my phone trying to auto correct. Down too so we can put it yeah. in the comments. And what's the uh, what's the Instagram? Uh voice B heard V O I C E B and heard. Okay. Trying to do it right quick too. Yeah. Cool. So y'all we dropping in that in the comments. So y'all want to go check out some of his interviews that he has yeah. done. With some of your favorite artists before, yeah. you know, I was gonna say earlier, and you just mentioned Ti, but I was gonna say, man, if he didn't already have that name taken, you should be like Grand Hustle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely sure. Grand Hustle. <laughs> you know, yeah, he got, yeah, he's gonna get it done. He got a great, great work ethic. I think that's Absolutely. how he's able to to wear so many hats. You yeah. know, and, and while we're still on the music, mm -hmm. you got to tell us about these coalition DJs yeah. before we segue into your, what you're involved in currently. Give us a little uh, a little explanation of what the coalition DJ is all about. Like, so uh, I'm I'm one of the, still one of like the original founders in the coalition DJ Carolinas. Uh, like I was, I was a, a part of like the first group of people to start the coalition carolinas um we are we nationally known we have chapters all over the nation um so here in the carolinas i'm a part of that uh mm -hmm. i've been with i've been a coalition dj carolina member ever since 2014 and uh like man like we just really been we just really been i've really been just like running the road with them you know yeah. and, and and really like, you know, building us up as far as like, you know, doing the interviews and, you know, doing the, the videos and, and things like that. And, right. uh, you know, I got, I was doing my thing before Coalition mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. DJ D Tech, he's the president of the Coalition Carolinas. Like he, okay. he seen me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He seen me out there doing my thing. Like, yo, yeah, to bring, bring you on in. Like, <laughs> He was like, yeah, man, like, I see you doing your thing, you know, getting interviews and working with artists, like, just mm -hmm. by yourself, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, what's up? Like, you know, bring your talents to the coalition, you know, we're getting this thing started. Yeah. yeah. And I was That's like, awesome. I was like, all right, well, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, that's how, that's how we really got, that's how we really got into it, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, we really, we really got rolling with it, man, so, yeah. you know, it's been, it's been a long journey. Yes. You know what yes. Yes. Nice famous, famous. Yeah. Famous show. He got a picture of the three of us from yeah. 2012, like New Year's Eve. He showed it to me last night. I was like, man. Well, we well he showed me the picture last night, but before you yeah. came on earlier, we was trying. Yeah, to, I was yeah. like, Yo, what year is that from? And he's like, yeah. He looked back in the, at the date. It was New Year's Eve 2012 at Empire. Here it is, right there. I just put it up on the screen. <laughs> that had yeah. the ball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, when he told me you were coming on, you know, he just I think when we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, he just uh he just referred to you as Brandon. I was like, Okay. I wasn't yeah. sure who it was. And then once last night he was oh yeah, I was like, Oh, voice B? I was like, Yeah, 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 yeah. we we worked with him before. And then I when found I that picture this. from New Year's Eve when we was DJing at uh, Empire and you came through 
to support and show love as usual. We definitely appreciate mm-hmm. that. But yeah, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, these phones yeah, keep yeah, everything, yeah. man. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> I'm telling you, right? That's what I stole a picture off your page for promo. Yeah, yeah. Midas ain't yeah. have no hair back then. I did have yeah. hair back then. It was like weird. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. now we reversed it. Things yeah. change. Okay. <laughs> you know? So aside yeah. from Coalition DJs, uh, Grind and Shine TV, uh-huh. all the hats that you wear, and you still family man, of course. Yeah. Selling life insurance and real estate how do you <laughs> juggle these things how do you juggle these things this is a common theme on this show is uh oh, yeah. balancing that work life or that work hustle you got the work hustle family life how do you juggle it yeah man i mean i ain't gonna lie it's hard <clears throat> you know what i'm saying it's hard man and like just sometimes you know is what you got to do you just got to put your head down and you got to keep moving forward Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like sometimes like you just really can't think about it too hard. You know, yeah. like you just you just gotta do it and mm-hmm. then deal with what come with it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, you know, it's important to, to have that balance, you know, to, to get that balance and then too, you know, it's just doing things, you know, just taking it one step at a time. You know, just, mm-hmm. just trying to do like one thing at a time. You know, like, cause I don't do I don't do life insurance every day. I don't right. do real estate every day. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like a it's a it's a nine to five. You right. know what I mean? Like, you know, I just I promote it, you know, and then when I get clients in, and you know, I have time, you mm-hmm. know, to go to those clients. You know, mm-hmm. and when I'm doing music, like, you know, I have the time to go and do the music, you know, so it's just like even though I'm I can do all of these things, I don't I'm not doing them all at once. Daily. Yeah, you know? you're not doing everything every day. Yeah. So to speak. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I'm, that I don't have sense. to do everything every day. And like, you know, I do so many things. It's like I don't have to rely on doing one certain thing mm-hmm. every day to survive. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so right. I can I can kind of spread myself out a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, and move around a little bit more. You know, uh-huh. but there are some things that I, I want to do every day, you know, that yeah. I'm working to doing every day, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. but. Like I said, like, you know, it's just a process, man. It's just a journey, you know, putting it all together. Yeah. You know, day by day. Yeah, it's definitely um, what, we, what we've learned, you know, in talking to other folks and even in our, in our own journeys is especially when you work in and you, and you don't really have somebody to answer to now. Mm-hmm. Just like even like you said, with life insurance and real estate, you're not like on a nine to five kind of thing. It takes a different yeah. kind of discipline. And uh, yeah. and that's commendable that you you know that you that you're able to to maintain that and keep all your lines of business still active without somebody yeah. having to tell you and get on you about it or, or remind you oh today you gotta do this it's just you know it takes a real a real discipline man yeah and, and I I just want to say too I think fatherhood mm-hmm. makes us more disciplined just naturally you know when you have to look out for other little lives I think then yeah. you, you kind of. <laughs> You kind of see yourself through a different lens. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, so I, and, and not only just for that, but, you know, you have to earn this bread or be a breadwinner. So them little mm-hmm. ones can eat and have the things yeah. they need. So I will say that, that the, the joys of one of the joys of fatherhood and one of the privileges is I think it makes most men, if they got any sense mm-hmm. at all, I can't speak for all men, <laughs> but I yeah. will speak for most men. Yeah. It makes you a little yeah. bit more disciplined naturally. Where, where you can, you know, you can carry out that balance that you, that you design a little, a little better. So, so, so give, give the people a quick rundown of you, like as far as your real estate, uh, I guess where you make, where you license that and how they, you know, if they want to contact you and things of that nature. Okay. Um, so here in the Carolinas, you know, I can do real estate here. Um, I'm licensed here. Um, and you know, man, like with real estate, it's just, it's all about especially like right now we in a different type of time you know Mm -hmm. and i like i like talking about real estate and i like doing real estate because it's it's it gives us it's a way to create generational wealth Mm -hmm. you know like a lot of us don't know about Mm because think about it a lot of people that you know like they they don't own you Mm -hmm. know and so it's like 
the people that own yeah. they have that wealth and like you yeah. know they they have houses that's been passed down through generations or yeah. like the houses that they have is you know money from that generational wealth you know that's mm. been passed down along their families and it's like you know like now that we as a people we get in this knowledge you know like that's one of the things like i feel like you know like that i need to talk to people about you know that i need to i need to spread this type of knowledge you know to my people because sure. this is something that is important mm -hmm. for yeah. our our survival this is something that's important for our livelihood you know mm -hmm. these are things that that people don't know and it's yeah. like i was once in a position to where i didn't know you know, like mm -hmm. I could have had, I could have bought a house, mm -hmm. but because of my lack of knowledge and my apprehension towards mm -hmm. the whole process, mm -hmm. you right. know what I'm saying? Like I, I kind of like talked myself out of it. Yeah. And actually, that was the best time to do it. Yeah. Like I should have did it then. Yeah. You yeah. know, but I, I mean, I missed out on that opportunity because of what I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So now, right. like with the knowledge that I know about real estate, you know. I take that on myself to spread that knowledge mm -hmm. so that other people out there don't make that same mistake or that other people out there don't lose out on their, you know, most valuable opportunities, man, to create yeah. that generational wealth. That's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. yeah, so if y'all in the, you know, the Carolinas, if you in Rock yeah. Hill, McConnell's, York, Charlotte, McConnell's. whatever, you might want to get this yeah. young man yeah, yeah, give him a, give him a Absolutely. holler. Absolutely, you, you know, can tell by what he was just saying that he's, you know, if you it. contact him about some real estate, he's not just going to be trying to close a sale on you and, oh, and, yeah. and get a commission. He's definitely, um, you know, down for the education part of it, making sure yeah. you're making the right decision. And I really yeah. appreciate that because I know exactly yeah. where you're coming from there. Because yeah. I was that guy two like years ago. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know any better. I thought the process was a whole lot different than what it actually ended up being, you know, and I wish I would have mm -hmm. made it a lot sooner as well. So I definitely appreciate you, you know, having that passion to educate folks about it as well, not just sell it to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. And like, with me, like, that's what it's, that's what it's all about. Cause I like, I like to know what I'm doing when I'm doing things, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be an expert. I'm not trying to take over your job. I just want to know what I'm doing. Yeah. I just want to yeah. understand the process as best I can. So mm -hmm. I just take that as, you know, that's what I pass along to other people. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like, you know, I do so many things. Like, I don't have to rely on mm -hmm. real estate to survive. Exactly. So I can put you up on game. And if you need to take time, if you need to do it next year, if you need to do it two years from now, like, good, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. Like, take your time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, do do what you need to do ain't no pressure for me because mm -hmm. like i said you know i'm not doing it to just try to suck a paycheck out of somebody because mm -hmm. i need to eat you know right. what i'm saying like you run into a lot of it because that's people's only only hustle you True. know that's people's only thing they do and they just pressuring you like yo you gotta do this you gotta do that like go mm -hmm. go go now 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 <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying and it's just like you know nah that's that's not my approach man yeah, yeah, that's yeah. important, man. I appreciate yeah. that. We need yeah. more brothers out there like you on, on that side of the game as well, man. I definitely, definitely appreciate yeah. that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And so last but not least, give us a, give us tell us about your life insurance uh, your, uh, business or whatnot as far as that's concerned. Give us a little background story, and, you know, why yeah, that's so, uh, important and how people can holler at you about that as well. Yeah, so um, I also do life insurance um, here in North Carolina and South Carolina. Um, and, like, man, life insurance is really important because, you know, you we didn't all see the the fish fries, seven mm -hmm. plates. And, man, you talk know, about the it. And mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when somebody passed away and, yeah. you know, the thing is, like, we don't know enough about life insurance to, to buy into it. And, like, mm -hmm. that's another one of those generational wealth yeah. tools. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that that people are utilizing out here, you know what I'm saying, like, to get ahead. And, you know, it's it's one of those things that's really hard because people hard look at about. it like... Yeah, it's hard well, to think about, spending for sure. money on something, but it don't benefit me mm -hmm. immediately. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But 
that's not what life insurance is. Like life insurance is to benefit your your offspring. Sure. You yeah. know, to to protect and, and provide for, you know, wife, husband, mm -hmm. you know, you know, whoever, like, you know, like that's the purpose of life insurance. Life insurance is to keep them from having to put together fish fries and scrape up yeah. money. Mm -hmm. yeah. When it is our time to, you know, walk them heavenly stairs. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it's good. You know, we all have to leave like, here someday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like we all, we all have to leave here someday, man. And, and you know, and I, I know it's a hard subject to talk about. Nobody wants to talk about death, mm -hmm. and, you know, all of that. Cause we all going to live forever, you know, and all yeah. this stuff. But at the same time, like, you know, it's it's a reality. You know, mm -hmm. you get a lot of older people, you know, that's really settling down and, you know, saying like, okay, I, I think I need life insurance. But mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is, like, the younger you are, the more beneficial. That's the yeah. time to get it because that's when it's the cheapest. Yeah. And you can lock that get rate in, in for the mm -hmm. rest of your life, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But, like, the older you get, the more expensive it gets. Yeah. And, you know, you can get policies that build cash value. So while you paying into this policy, you know it's building cash value. You know it's just it's just it's still it's it's very beneficial to people. Yeah. But people just yeah. don't really know about it mm -hmm. like right. that to to buy into it. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like when somebody passes away, they getting their child or their mm -hmm. spouse getting a hundred thousand dollar check. Yeah. You know, like the 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 house is paid off. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the kids' education is paid off. You know mm -hmm. what I mean, like. Like yeah. those are the things like that's that's really important. It's you super know? important. And those are the things that should be important in people's household. You yes. Know? And you can yeah. always add on to your policy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you just just start somewhere. You know, All just right. get something set mm -hmm. in place. Mm -hmm. You know, for your protection, and just in mm -hmm. case, like you know, especially like you know, if you have children out here. You know yeah. that's dependent on you. If you got a, hey you guys, got a spouse that's dependent don't on keep you. Talking. Like that. I just got something going on outside my door. I'll be right back. Hey, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But go ahead. But yeah, we like, live, you know, baby. Like, if you got if you got those things going on, like you know, that's that's important. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like that's something like that everybody should look into. You know, yeah. It's not as expensive yeah. as, as people think. You know, mm -hmm. but it is something that you have to pay into. You know, oh. in order to reap benefits of it. You yeah. know, but it's definitely beneficial, you know, and exactly. like, I feel like, think about it. Like, if we had been doing as a culture, if we had been doing life insurance since the oh, 40s, time. 50s, yeah. 60s, you know what I mean? And and all of us is getting $100,000, dollars checks, you know, yeah. passing it down the line. Like, where would we be? Where would we be? Yeah, I you know? mean, and, and yeah, <laughs> like, we would definitely we as be, a a culture be a lot further, you know, I mean. It's just one of those so. things, man, that you have to think about. And it's like now that I know that stuff, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, I have to, I feel like, you know, it's my, it's an obligation of mine to, you know, to, to, to spread, spread the news. Yeah. yeah, you know, spread the news and at least put my people up on game. At least yeah. get you to the water, you know. Yeah. It's your decision yeah. if you want yeah, to get to the water, can, right? Lead them to the I can, water. Yeah. Yeah. I can at least, at least get you to the water, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, put your lips you know? to the trough. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as we take a sip. Hold yeah. on, let me yeah. tell you, what. we bring you to the water, man. <laughs> I can, I can at least get you to the water, man. You know, like, like black knowledge, man, is is so important for yeah. us, yeah. and you know, we need more of our people to be involved in in gaining, you know, what I'm saying, like this type of knowledge. You know, sure. it's it's boring. Yeah, like it's not exciting to talk about. Yeah, mm -hmm. but man, it is so beneficial. Yeah, like it is so beneficial for us as a people, and it's something that you know more people need to start thinking about. More people need to start educating themselves. Like you know, more people really need to start talking about these things in just basic conversations because mm -hmm. yeah. you know these things are important. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like nobody, of course, nobody thinks about you know. I'm gonna get into a, a motorcycle accident. Oh, so, nah, nah, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, that. nobody thinks about that, but mm -hmm. it, but if it every day, you know, mm -hmm. like it happens, and it's just like you know, just it's good to protect yourself. It's good yeah. to protect your family, yeah. you know, yeah. and just just knowledgeable things like this, like real estate and you know, and life insurance, like like those things is something that's that's dire, you yeah. know, to people's lives. You know, right. I mean, you renting a house, how long? Would, 
do people rent houses? Mm-hmm. You gonna rent for twenty years? <laughs> twenty years renting, you done pay two houses off. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? But right. it's just the thing like people just don't really get the knowledge part of it, you know, to yeah. help jump start their process yeah. into right. becoming a owner. You know, mm-hmm. so many people get comfortable in, in, in where they are and in their situation, they don't move. Right. And they don't move because there's not enough of us out there talking to them about these things, mm-hmm. educating them about these things, lighting mm-hmm. the fire under them, you know, to let's get going let's get on it. these things. It's yeah. not enough of us out there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like my boy Pop, you know, with that famous, <laughs> That famous verse, you know what he said? You What's know what that? He said, we don't need no more rappers. He yeah, said, we yeah. Need, we need mm-hmm. doctors. We need doctors. lawyers. We need, yeah. we need teachers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we, we need those things for the culture. You yeah, know, and I, just, and I feel like, you know, that's an avenue that I can put myself in, mm-hmm. you know, to help further my people, man. You know, to help better educate my people on these mm-hmm. subjects. Yeah, no, yeah man, wonderful. I appreciate that's that, man. You're doing, doing good work out there for yeah, sure. And, and I can sure. tell you passionate about yeah, it. I love that. You know I love that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I passionate about it. Folks, if you're still in the comments, drop us an emoji yeah, say or what's something. Up. Say hey to us. So um, come, if somebody yeah. wanted to reach out to you on the life insurance and real estate and um, on, on that tip, how can they contact you? Yeah, they can um, contact me. You know, you can message me on social media. You know, drop me a DM. Okay. You know, Facebook, Brandon, Voice B. McCleave. Okay. You know, drop me a Facebook message, and uh, mm-hmm. we can go from there. You know, awesome. you can be on social media. If you're not on social media, you can send me an email. Um, my email is bmcleave942 mm-hmm. at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. So you can uh, shoot me an email. You know, and let me know, you know, what you're interested in or okay. what kind of questions you may have, yeah, you know, awesome. anything like that. You know, yeah, I'm always open, always open to questions, always open to talk, always open to to educate and, and help people get started. That's great, mm-hmm. man. We definitely appreciate you being here and dropping the yeah. jewels on us this week, for sure, man. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. We covered everything stuff. from yeah. being an artist to hosting your own uh, yeah. platform, you know, talking to other artists yeah. and, and whatnot and being a part of the the, Coali- the South Carolina Coalition DJs. Grand Hustle. And, and <laughs> hustle. Yeah, now, and, and now yeah. people can contact yeah. you if they need any information about yeah. real estate or they need a real estate agent. And also if you need some life insurance information yeah. or a life insurance plan, they can get in touch with you. Everything from from the land to the plan. From the land <laughs> to the plan. What's this? I think we, I think we can title it. I think that's gonna be the title of that's this one, famous. Title from the land to the oh, plan. Oh yeah, man. You gotta be. Got you. You know, it's all about being versatile, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. That's a good word, versatile. Say, a lot of people say like, oh, you know, you know, you you don't want to wear yourself out. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do this, do that. But you know. It's always about being versatile, man. Like they tell you, you don't put all your eggs in the same basket. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and uh, this this lady, like, I, one of the things I do, like, I believe in, you have to cultivate your mind. You know, mm-hmm. so just like how the grass grows up in the yard, and you got to go cut the grass every week because if you don't, the mm-hmm. weeds oh, grow up and choke. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the same thing. Like in your mind, like you know, negative thoughts will grow up in your mind, and if you don't go in your mind and cultivate and cut that, cut that down and cut mm-hmm. that out every day, you know what I mean? Like it can get really <laughs> cloudy in there, and it can get really dark. So you have to feed your mm-hmm. mind positivity yeah. every day. You know, you got to listen to positive affirmations. You got to read, you know, positive readings and things like that. And that's how you cultivate your mind. And like you know, I talk to people. I have, I have, I talk to like millionaires. You know, all the time, like, and like I know them, you know, mm-hmm. and I have conversations with them, and they're they're always giving me these jewels, you know, of oh. success, and mm-hmm. that's one thing that they always talk about is that you never put all your eggs in the same basket. You always right. have different avenues of a hustle. So mm-hmm. when something's not going good, yeah, now you, you still got two, here. three mm-hmm. other things mm-hmm. that's gonna carry you through, exactly. you know, because. Of course, you know, if all eggs in one basket, when that ship go down, you don't have nothing <laughs> else to do. 
Yeah, you, know? you, know, so you like, drop that. You drop that basket. Won't be no <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, just like back in two thousand and eight. You know when the big when the big uh, housing market crash came. You know, mm-hmm. like I had a, uh, a millionaire tell me about how she lost all of her properties. Like mm-hmm. she she had mm-hmm. million dollar properties. The housing crisis came and she lost all of her properties and wow. she found herself almost going into bankruptcy and she wow. said that will never happen again absolutely she said that yeah. will never happen again and mm-hmm. so she got her two three hustles that she mm-hmm. do she mm-hmm. still do real estate but she has other things too that yeah. now generates her a lot of revenue mm-hmm. and she mm-hmm. says that you know she'll never be in that situation again because she'll never put all of her eggs in One the same back. basket yeah. yeah, that's yeah. very important. That's that's kind of been yeah. a, a lot Actually, of the theme what we do on this show with um, a lot of our other guests as well, just hustling and having multiple sources of, of income and different um, different uh, avenues that you're going about it, man. That's great. We yeah. definitely appreciate yeah. it. We appreciate man, the gems. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. We appreciate you being here. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Been joining us on the No Shortcut Show, man. It's been it's been great, you know. And yeah, make again, it. Go, go ahead. ahead man. Tell people how to watch it later too, bro. Yeah, I was just gonna say, uh, this this feed will remain active for what the next couple of days or so, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah. even if you hop on and watch the replay, still feel free to leave a comment mm-hmm. um, and 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 you know share this with your friends. This is mm-hmm. a new platform, but we're trying to take it somewhere. We like for you guys to be a part of the beginning. Uh, journey and, and go with this until until the end you know also um, we're going to drop the link in the comments where you can go subscribe because because once uh once it's time it's done here on facebook this particular episode it will it will be uh it will live over on youtube so we'll yeah. put our uh, youtube channel there share no with somebody show. no shortcut show with midas and fame so yeah please please uh be active and participate that's yeah. all we got so if you're watching this replay, make sure you can still comment, tell us you watched it, and uh, share it with your friends. This is definitely yeah, some yeah. things that you know someone who needed to hear this today, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. you know, like, I just want to tell people, man, like, follow your dreams. Hmm. Set your goals and stay with it. Nobody said that it's going to be easy. Because, nah. you know, if it was easy, everybody would everybody have it. Everybody do it, yeah. Mm-hmm. The things that are worth having in life are the hardest things to achieve. Mm-hmm. And I am like the perfect example of that. You know, <laughs> they told me that I wouldn't get on TV because mm-hmm. I'm from McConnell, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you created I your own it, show. <laughs> <laughs> I made it yeah. to TV yeah. on my own show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it wasn't just 15 seconds. It was a cool 30. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. With a commercial. They gave, me, they gave me a cool 30, man. So it's yeah. just like, you know, my my strong belief in God and my spiritual belief, you know, yeah. has carried me safe this far and have taken me places and opened doors for me that I know no earthly man could have ever done. Mm-hmm. And it's just all about keeping that faith and holding to the vision. Even though sometimes, like, you can't figure it out. You can't see what the end result may be. You don't mm-hmm. know where you are. It's looking real cloudy right now. Like mm-hmm. none of that matters because right. God said that's none of your business. Mm-hmm. The how part. Right, All right. you got to do is keep your head down and do mm-hmm. the work. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what you got to do. It. And when you do the work, He'll handle all of the rest. And that's, like that's right. the way things have happened for me like doing all of these things getting these licensing and stuff like that mm-hmm. like it's all because of the strength and the endurance that he's given me to mm-hmm. accomplish those things right. to acquire those things like just to have the willpower to get up and go do those things mm-hmm. you know that's something that people have to have like you gotta have that willpower you gotta have, like, it. You gotta have to drive to get up and go get it because when you're sitting on your couch and you get that little tingle in your throat. You're like, man, I'm thirsty. <laughs> you're thirsty, like, you get up and get something to drink, don't yeah. you? Right? You get up and you go get something to drink. You don't yeah. just keep sitting on the couch. Yeah. And get <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's getting extra scratchy you know now. Well, let yeah. me just. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like you put the work in, you get up and you get the cup and you put the ice in it and yeah. then you pop open the cap on that drink and you pour it in. That's you know what I mean? Drink. Like so your life, your goals should be the same way. Mm-hmm. You should get up and get it. Yeah, yeah, you just you just gotta get up and get it, man, because people it. doing it every day out here. That's so the title to the episode. Get up and get it. Get up and get it. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I was gonna go back get to the eggs again, yeah. but yeah, yeah, get up and get, get it. Up and get, get, it. get up and get it. Man. Shout out to Voice B, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's go. I hit the wrong horn. He hit the bubble hey, on the cloud on him again. Hey, man, I appreciate that voice for sure, yeah, man. man. We thank you for being on with us this week, man. Yeah, it's been Love great. this Look, wonderful conversation, man. For we had a sure. great time, very uplifting, very informative, and uh, you know, thank you for joining us. And we, we, we definitely, you know, we know that whoever this video reaches, they're gonna mm-hmm. get something. They're gonna get something out of this for sure. You know, for sure, for sure. Oh, thank yeah. you, brother. Thank oh, you, yeah. brother. Just stay on, stay on for a second while my man wraps us up. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys out there in YouTube land and Facebook land for joining us again live today. I was just going to say uh, the chairman of the board will be live this Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Friday will mm. be in Pageland, South Carolina. I'll be there for that one. Oh, you coming through? My family If it don't coming. rain. If it don't rain, I'll be there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. come on down, man. The family going to be there. My mom and uncle and all, all of them going to be there. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. We're closing that out Friday night. Saturday will be in Albemarle, North Carolina. And Sunday, we travel to Holden Beach uh, Sunday afternoon. So, yeah, yeah. And if you need the rest of the touring information, just go to www.thechairmanoftheboard.com. Thechairmanoftheboard.com. Yeah, yeah. And shout out Mellow Groove, Earth, Wind, and Fire family, the Honeycomb family, Praise yeah. and Faith, Smooth Sales, and A Touch of Faith. Much love to all my family, all For everybody sure. that supports the platform. Much love to, to our guests. Much love to yeah, my yeah. co-host. Absolutely. Much love to you guys at home. We appreciate you. We'll see you next week. God bless. Good night. Peace.